Good morning! Halika, magkapi tayo! Our text for today is from the Gospel of Matthew, chapter 5, verses 27 to 32. It says, Jesus said to his disciples, You have learned how it was said, You must not commit adultery. But I say this to you, If a man looks at a woman lustfully, he has already committed adultery with her in his heart. If your right eye should cause you to sin, tear it out and throw it away. For it will do you less harm to lose one part of you than to have your whole body thrown into hell. And if your right hand should cause you to sin, cut it off and throw it away. For it will do you less harm to lose one part of you than to have your whole body go to hell. It has also been said, anyone who divorces his wife must give her a writ of dismissal. But I say this to you, everyone who divorces his wife, except for the case of fornication, makes her an adulteress, and anyone who marries a divorced woman commits adultery. Thus far is the reading for today's Gospel Reflection. Be faithful in marriage. What is it for us? Jesus warns us of the big responsibility that we must not be the cause or the stumbling block or a bad example that might lead other people to commit sin. People who are new and still young in their faith experience are especially vulnerable to the bad example of those who are responsible of the formation of their faith. Jesus teaches us that to be righteous, it involves responding to every situation that fulfills God's law, not just by externally following it, but internally as well. Jesus says that evil desires spring from the heart. That is why the sin of adultery must first be dealt with in the heart, the place of emotions, and also the mind, the place of the intellect and the will and good intention. The gospel passage today may be difficult for some of us to hear. Jesus says, Be faithful in marriage. He was speaking naturally about faithfulness in the marriage vows. His call to fidelity and faithfulness also includes all other vows that involves personal commitment to God. Jesus hopes that married couples will not simply be faithful to their marriage vows until further notice, quotation, but that married couples also strive to keep their commitment alive and strong. Our yes, I do, in our marriage vows, should reflect the yes I do of Christ to His Church until death. That their love may be able to transcend all of their trying moments or trying times in the relationship as couples. God's intention and ideal 
from the beginning in marriage was for a man and a woman to be permanently united as one flesh. That's from the book of Genesis chapter 2 verses 23 to 24. Found in the unbreakable union of Adam and Eve. They were created for each other and for no one else. They are the model and symbol for all who were to come. However, Moses permitted divorce as a response only to that lost ideal. That's from the Gospel of Mark chapter 10 verse 2 to 9. Jesus sets the high ideal of the married state before those who are willing to accept his commands. Jesus gives the grace and the power of the Holy Spirit to those who seek to follow his way of holiness in the state of life whether you are married or single. Our challenge Today we hear of celebrity couples as well as couples whom we know who are getting separated or even processing their separation or divorce. There are times this truly might be the right choice. However, I believe that a mindset has evolved over the past 15 or 30 years that says if marriage is not working as I want it to work, then it is time to move on. End of quote. In many cases, this is true. Like an issue on continuing abuses, uncontrolled anger between husband and wife, motivated by unhealthy behavior due to unresolved personal conflicts, all these things have destroyed marriage. Then maybe getting a divorce or legal separation is most likely a healthy choice that is justifiable if all other available avenues and processes of reconciliation are explored. We need to strengthen our family, our basic community, in our world with good values and hopefully we will model these kingdom values every day by the choices we make. If we want to live a righteous life as God intends it for us, then we must know and understand the intention of God's commandment for us and decide in our heart by following His commands. Let us pray. Lord Jesus, begin a new work of love within me. Instill in me a greater love and respect for your commandments. Give me a burning desire to live a life of holiness and righteousness. Purify my thoughts, my desires and intentions that I may only desire what is pleasing to you. We ask this in the name of Jesus our Lord. Amen. Okay? So, paano ito magkapatid? Don't forget to finish your coffee. Thank you so much. Magandang buhay sa ating lahat. May God bless us all. See you on Monday.